Hello there friends. So this is what we got going on today. This is uh, aircraft seats. So this is what the original here looks like. This is out of a 1989 Lake Amphibian aircraft. If uh, you should look this one up, Google it. It's a real unusual um, sea craft airplane. So anyway, uh, the customer uh, he had a um, few requests. I always make uh, a seat to a customer's specification. So what he wants is he wants a 10 inch taller backrest um, to use as a, that way he has a, a, some type of a headrest. He's going to go with a, a gray leather in seat insert with a blue on the outside and it's going to be all leather. What I have here is the, the foam seat already made up with an extended headrest and the FAA certified burn test foam. Super expensive, super expensive foam. Doing the unboxing now and by the way nothing on my channel is ever sponsored. I pay for everything myself. I don't go around begging people for free stuff. So this is the uh, best that you could buy right here. Let's open her up. And there she is. Walk us here over to the table, and we'll see what we got. What I got was two large hides in blue, and one large hide in gray. Get it out of the bag. I think pretty heavy. I was just going to cut it off. I thought it was just going to slip off. Looking pretty good. Very nice. Let's get that gray out of there too. There's the gray. Well, it looks like uh, what I got for gray was half hide. I remember that's all they had available. So I took it. The customer told me that they want the two-tone blue and gray because he's going to change the color scheme of his airplane. He's going to paint it the, the blue and gray navy colors of the PBY aircraft. If you don't know what that is, uh, you can Google that. Another very interesting aircraft. As you can see from these uh, new size and shaped seats that I'm going to have to do a lot of fabricating so I don't have patterns to follow. So I have to make my own. Usually where I like to start is on the seat inserts and then I work my way out from there. So I'm going to go ahead and get these uh, seat inserts marked out measured, drawn out, trimmed out, and <clears throat> I'll see you back here in a little bit. Don't want to bore you with all the boring stuff.
So now I got all the patterns, all the borders all sewn up and trimmed out. That was fast, huh? You didn't even, you weren't even around to see all that. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I even mentioned this before, but I'm doing four seats, not just two. They're all four are going to be identical. So making this side panel pattern here was pretty easy. All I did was just lay up the seat and drew a chalk line all the way around it. That one was easy. So now here's another way of making a cheap pattern because uh, you don't want to use a material that's too expensive. So I just got some really cheap burlap here, laid it over, made my pattern, made it fit everything. And that's a cheap pattern maker. When patterning out on the leather, you always want to try to maximize your yield and end up with the least amount of waste possible. Well, my friends, how's that for a before and after? So guess which one is the before and which one is the after. I usually uh, keep one original so I can get these before and after shots. And um, so now that means I got three more to go, four total, so I can complete this project. So the customer got his high back. He wanted it 10 inches taller. So that way they have some kind of a headrest because this is an amphibian aircraft. So I guess you want that because you're hitting waves on whatever water that you're on. So here we go. I'm not done yet. Foam, foam, and more foam.